signal flow inside of Ableton. So we need to understand how the audio moves around the software. Um, so I'm going to try and describe it as clearly as I can. First, we're going to look at audio channels, and then we'll have a quick look at MIDI channels. There's not too much difference between them. So here we've got um, the ins and the out control. Okay, so audio into the software, audio out of the software, or audio into the channel, and audio out of the channel. So that's what we're discussing. So when we're working with an audio channel, we'll grab a sample. Um, cool. So we'll chuck the sample in here. Now the audio is coming from the channel itself. So um, it is getting sent from the channel to, in this case, it's telling us the master here. Okay. So the output of the channel goes to the master which is down here, and then the master comes out to the outputs, which in this case are one and two, which are my stereo left and right, okay, on my audio interface. So um, obviously this changes depending on what you've got set up and your preferences for your sound card based on your inputs and your outputs. For me, I'm using an audio interface. I've got two different outputs, but I'm just using one and two, and they're the only ones I've got configured. Okay, so the audio comes out to the master. So I can have this audio and I can send it to another channel. So rather than having that audio go to the master, I can say send it into channel two. Um, and then I can do that for if I wanted to process it or if I wanted to record it into that channel. Or there's quite a few different reasons why I'd want to do that. Um, so I can keep it to the master. If I grouped these channels together, right click group. Uh, you'll see that the audio comes from the channel and then it goes to the group and then from the group it goes to the master and then from the master it goes to our outputs, okay? So um, now let's look at it if we add some effects, okay? So the audio is here and then it will go through, let's say we'll put a filter on that and we'll bandpass it, okay? So that sound is on the channel and then it, let, let's say it goes down here and it comes into that effect, okay? You can see that there's little volume faders here. Um, and then there's also volume faders on the other side to indicate the audio coming out. So the audio comes from here and then it goes to, in this case, the group. And then the group goes to the master. So if we ungroup it, right click ungroup, we can see that the audio comes into the effects unit from the channel here and it is processed by the effect unit the audio comes out here and then goes straight up to the master it's just a more easy simple way of looking at it okay so we need to keep in, in mind at all times that if we have no effects on the channel technically it just goes straight to the master if we start adding effects down here the audio comes from here it's fed into here and it comes out the other end and then it goes to the destination that is set up on our channel so in this case the master and probably in a lot of cases it's usually going to be the master when you get into some advanced um, sends and returns and buses and groups and all this sort of stuff then you'll be changing your routing around at a beginner level you don't really do it too much so that's what it looks like with audio if we open a MIDI channel and we chuck a MIDI instrument on there so we can see that the audio comes in to the computer from maybe the computer keyboard or if I had a yeah if I had my little keyboard plugged in I could be pressing the buttons and that information would be going in and then the um, audio will be then sent to the master unless of course I tell it to go somewhere else okay so um, it looks exactly the same but if I delete that instrument off of there uh, actually no let's look at that instrument a bit longer I'm gonna press buttons on my keyboard you can see that this is blue it indicates MIDI information is going into that instrument and coming out here is audio so it's being turned into audio okay um, so if I delete that um, you'll see that if I press keys the MIDI information over here and down here it's still registering it's just not generating sound because I haven't put an instrument to it okay and also you'll see that it says no output here that's because uh, it's not generating sound, so the output's not going anywhere. I can send the MIDI output probably to, to something else, but I'm, I'm not interested in doing that. I don't need to. Um, 
So that is signal flow. Now we'll look at sends and returns and we'll look at grouping and busing in the next video. Uh, so that is that for this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider subscribing on YouTube, following on Facebook. Alternatively, if you'd like to support me financially, jump over onto Patreon and become a patron, or donate via PayPal. And don't forget, starting a new endeavor such as learning Ableton and electronic music production can be extremely overwhelming, so take things day by day and believe in yourself. Thank you.